how do you think ventilation systems can have a role in the prevention of the spread of coronavirus? Well, there are many studies highlighting how ventilation systems are an important resource to clean indoor air. Ciao a tutti. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second edition of Applied Talks. I'm happy to be hosting this second edition. Today, we have a very interesting topic and most relevant for our current global situation. As we all know, COVID-19 has made its mark on our world, and we have been forced to make considerable sacrifices and changes in our daily lives. As we start to pick up the pieces and evaluate what our world will look like going into the future, HVAC providers will have a major part to play in what the indoor space will look like and how it will be treated. At Daikin, this is a very important and critical part of what we do. We want our customers to know that we continue to work hard developing the right tools for our future and to ensure a healthy indoor environment for all, no matter what that change may eventually look like. That being said, our topic today is ventilation and indoor air quality. We spend such a large portion of our daily time indoors. Before COVID-19, many of us may not have even thought about it much. You go in to work, you go in to shop, and finally at the end of the day, you go into your home. Until now, the quality of air may not even been something you thought much about. Today, however, the quality and cleanliness of that air is something we all think about. I would now like to introduce our guest. Stefan Paolo is the Director of Air Handling Units from Daikin Applied Europe. Stefan has been in charge of the AHU business since 2009 when the factory in Milan was opened and has been one of the foremost leaders in Daikin's journey into the air handling business. Stefan, did I miss anything? And would you care to elaborate on what Daikin has overcome and achieved in the past 11 years? Thanks, Ruth, for the introduction and hello, everyone. I'm very glad to join this second edition of Applied Talks. Indeed, it's been a quite a pleasant journey on the last 11 years. We have started and developed a new Italian-based HU factory in Milan and became rapidly the largest Daikin HU factory in Europe, Middle East, and Africa region. However, it's important to remind that we dispose of four HU factories in EMEA within Daikin Group. The reason for it, getting as close as possible to our customer. In 2019, we celebrated the 50th anniversary of Daikin Applied Europe, and at the same time, the 50th year's experience on AHU, because we built our first European AHU in 1969. As of today, Daikin Applied Europe is positioned as a technological leader in the air and units industry, making the Daikin brand a synonym for outstanding indoor quality and premium efficiency performances. Man, that's awesome, Stefan. That history is great. Uh, thanks again for being here today, and great to know that you have such a long history and experience in our group. What was your product vision when you took this new challenge? Well, we focused on flexibility and performances since day one. Our goal was to provide an innovative and cost-effective product to our Daikin customer, but before all, fitting exactly their project specification. Hence, we decided to create a product infinitely flexible to adapt itself to any project characteristic. The Daikin DHU series features unlimited dimension capability associated to a unique proprietary thermal brake design. You can therefore request a tailor-made DHU, which will be delivered without any additional cost and within the standard lead time. That's the strength of Daikin today because we developed our own selection and manufacturing softwares, which interact directly with our internal production machinery. And there is no delay on the engineering side, and we can produce all the AHU dreams designed by our customers. The same customer can also rely on our plug-and-play advanced control for AHU, allowing easy integration of any chill water system or even Daikin VRV outdoor units. How can it be more confident to know that the air units and the outdoor units are manufactured by the same brand and talking the same language? That inspires trust that the system will operate on its highest efficiency and trouble-free. These are just some of the most significant achievements on our journey, Youth. Stefan, the Daikin AHU design benefits you just described are impressive, to say the least. And they're a great segue into our, into our session today. 
Uh, can you tell us about why indoor air quality and ventilation are so important in our lives? And then, what is Daikin's approach to ventilation technology and design? Indoor air quality are definitely essential to everyone's life. We spend more than 90% of our indoor, uh, sorry, we spend more than 90% of our time indoor for the private or professional reason and keep wondering about the external pollution while the indoor air can be eight times more polluted. Mm. Would you drink tap water if it's moody? The indoor air quality is invisible and we have expertise in Daikin on how to treat it to its highest level for your comfort and health. Mm, agreed. And regarding that current situation related to COVID-19, how do you think ventilation systems can have a role in the prevention of the spread of coronavirus? Well, there are many studies highlighting how ventilation systems are an important resource to clean indoor air environments from contaminant and including viruses, thanks to the extraction of the indoor air and the introduction of filtered air from the outdoor environments. The point is that once a SARS-CoV-2 COVID individual enters a building, the only way to minimize the possibility of infection from other occupants is cleaning indoor air through ventilation system. So in the current situation caused by the spread of coronavirus, HVAC technologies can have an important role in the prevention of the infection from SARS-CoV-2. This point has been stressed by an important air conditioning and eating and ventilation association like REVA in Europe and ASHRAE, who recently pointed out the importance of the contribute that ventilation technology can provide in the current situation. Okay, um, so can you share with us the aspects relating to infection from coronavirus and mechanical ventilation systems in buildings? Because this is a current topic that has generated a lot of rumors and in some cases, confusing information. What can you tell us about this? Well, the COVID emergency has caused a drastic change in our lifestyle. The risk of contagion has led the society as a well whole to acknowledge the importance of responsible behavior, starting from social distancing. All this has led to prefer places that are not crowded and particularly open spaces, especially now that we're entering the summer season. This is because outdoor spaces with low crowding are the places that present the lower risk of contagion. In fact, if the virus were to be present in the open air, it would be diluted in an almost infinite quantity of air, and therefore its concentration would be close to zero. However, it's not possible to always live outdoors, and as we are getting out of the lockdown, we have the possibility and the duty to return to the previous lifestyle, or rather, to a new normality. This means we must be able to go back to living indoor environments safely both at works or visiting shops, shopping center, gyms, restaurants, or even theaters and cinemas. While in the open air, any virus naturally dilutes in the air, in indoor environments, the this dilution process must be ensured by proper ventilation. So, as lockdown measures are being lifted, businesses are reorganizing to open their doors uh, and spaces to the public. We have talked about the importance of ventilation in indoor environments, especially in the current situation. And there's probably going to be more attention on mechanical ventilation as a means to provide air exchange and minimize the possibilities of infection in indoor environments. Now, I know Daikin offers different solutions, but do you think there's one solution that more than others can meet the needs of businesses that want to quickly provide their facilities with ventilation systems? and which is also easy to install and integrate into their existing building? Well, Daikin is a leader in the design of air conditioning and ventilation system and provide the most advanced technologies to ensure health and well-being in all indoor environments. For ventilation and air treatments, which now we know are a fundamental ally in the fight against the spread of the viruses, Daikin has a wide range of technical solutions available. In particular, the modular L, offered by Daikin is an innovative product ideal to ensure proper ventilation in medium-sized environments. Yeah, the modular L, I love that unit. Uh, can you tell us more about the main characteristics of this product and how it is a relevant technology in the current situation? Sure. It's a compact, efficient, and versatile solution. It's offered in various sizes to ventilate spaces from 50 to 500 square meter of surface. The negligible cross-contamination, meaning the separation of the possibly contaminated return airflow and the clean fresh airflow, is ensured using an aluminum counterflow heat exchanger that provides over 90% recovery efficiency in a safe manner. The modular L ensures maximum quality of air 
introduced into the room thanks to an integrated double stage filtration with a level of filtration efficiency up to 90% on the smallest and most dangerous PM1 particles such as bacteria, mold or other pollutants. More furthermore, the unit disposed of the VDI 6022 hygienic certification delivered from an independent German laboratory that verify its effectiveness in counteracting the proliferation of bacteria and molds. Mm. Being extremely small in height, it fits perfectly in any force setting and can be commissioned in a minute thanks to its plug and play control fitted and tested at factory. At final, its 50 mm double skin panel and extensive R&D design ensure a very quiet operation. Stefan, uh, that is fantastic. And I want to thank you again for your time today. This has been very eye-opening for me, and I certainly appreciate your expert input on today's topic. While the pandemic has certainly changed our world, I take comfort knowing we have good men like you working for a great company like Daikin, looking out for my well-being. The next time I go in to a public building, I will certainly be thinking of Daikin's innovations and how it is benefiting my family and I. A last words, Newt, for all my colleagues being highly professional and working with so much patience on a daily basis. They have a single goal, keeping all of you safe and making you breathe the best indoor air quality. Absolutely. And thank you again, Stefan. And thanks to all who made this episode possible. And finally, thank you to our viewers for tuning in. And from all of us at Daikin Applied Europe, stay safe and stay healthy. <laughs>